Recording. Hello and welcome to Step by Step by Miriam. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Microsoft Word 2007 with NVDA free screen reading software. Let's begin. Press the Start key on your keyboard. That's the Windows key, usually positioned to the left of your spacebar. Start menu. Start search edit. Blank. Now I'm going to go through the menu by using my down arrow key until I hear Microsoft Word 2007. Internet I1 of 12. Email E2 of 12. Launch Internet Explorer. Bell Webcam Central. Microsoft Office Word 2007 M5 of 12. Since this is the word that I require, I now press my Enter key on my keyboard to select. Taskbar. Document 1 Microsoft Word. Document 1. Microsoft Word Document Edit Multiline. Page 1 blank. When you hear the edit and page 1 blank, you now know that you are ready on a blank page to begin your document. Before we begin, let's understand what is actually on the Word program screen. At the very top of the Word screen would be the title bar and the title bar is the name of the file that you're currently working on. NVDA calls out document 1 simply because we have not saved this file yet. However, at a later stage when we save the file with a more meaningful name, NVDA will read this file name out as soon as you open this particular document. That is at the very, very top of the screen. To the left of that title bar is now sharing a small little toolbar. For those of you that have used earlier programs like 2003 or even before that again, you would be more familiar with drop down menus. However, with the 2007 version onwards, Microsoft have now designed it slightly differently and have produced a little shortcut toolbar to the left of the title bar and below that a ribbon. So now we're going to have a look at the ribbon because on the ribbon this is where you will find all the facilities and functions that you will be familiar with or become familiar with when working with a Microsoft Word word processing application. Let's activate the ribbon bar. We do this by pressing the ALT key to the left of your spacebar. Ribbon toolbar, ribbon property page, ribbon tabs, tab control, home tab selected ALT H. Did you hear it saying home tab selected ALT and H? This means that the shortcut to access the home tab, if you're using your keyboard, is first of all press the ALT key to the left of your spacebar and then press letter H not together, one immediately after the other, ALT followed by H. But for now, I simply want to investigate the other tabs on the ribbon that are available to me. So now I'm going to press my right arrow key. Insert tab selected ALT M. Page layout tab selected ALT P. I'm pressing my right arrow key to move along the tabs. Listen carefully. References tab selected ALT S. Mailings tab selected ALT M. Review tab selected ALT R. View tab selected ALT W. Developer tab selected ALT L. That is the last of the tabs that are available to me on Microsoft Word, the Developer tab. So now I'm going to use my left arrow to work backwards towards the Home tab again. Listen carefully as NVDA will announce the relevant shortcuts. View tab selected ALT W. Review tab selected ALT R. Mailings tab selected ALT M. References tab selected ALT S. Page layout tab selected ALT P. Insert tab selected ALT N. Home tab selected ALT H. Home tab is the first tab on the ribbon. The home tab is really a new design by Microsoft from the 2007 version onwards where the most frequently used commands will be, will be already available on the screen for you so that you don't have to go searching looking for a lot of the commonly used commands like bold, italics, underline, 
cut, copy, paste and so on. Now within the home tab, <clears throat> once we select the home tab, we have all the home tab commands available to us. If we select the insert tab, however, a completely new list of insert commands are available to us. We are currently on the home tab. Let's investigate the home tab commands. To investigate the home tab commands, I'm now going to press my tab key, which is to the left of letter Q on your keyboard. So listen carefully as I press my tab key. I'm coming down to what's called the clipboard group. Home property page, clipboard toolbar, paste group in clip here for more options, such as pasting only the values or formatting. Paste split button, paste control V, paste the contents of the clipboard. Control V. So here it has announced that I am currently looking at the paste command. It also offered me the paste keyboard command options, which are control and V. So once you have either cut or copied text, or anything else, then you can use paste by using Ctrl and V. Let's press the tab key to move along the clipboard group. Cut button unavailable, cut the selection from the document and put it on the clipboard. Ctrl X. Off. Copy button unavailable, copy the selection and put it on the clipboard. Ctrl C. Alt H C. Format Painter button, copy formatting from one place and apply it to another. Double click this button to apply the same formatting to multiple places in the document. Press F1 for more help. Control Shift C, Alt H, F E. So there you were giving, you were given two sets of shortcut commands. The first group of commands that you were given and the second group of commands you were giving, given are the difference between the older and the newer versions. So anytime you hear the Alt key announced, this is a new shortcut command group from the 2007 version onwards. Let's press the tab key once more. Office clipboard, button sub menu show the office clipboard task pane, Alt H F O. So now we have heard that the office clipboard task pane is available. So that is the group of commands that are on the clipboard group. Format Painter button, Copy button, Cut button, Paste group in Clip here for more options, such as pasting only the values or formatting. Paste Split button, Paste Control V, Paste the contents of the clipboard. Control V. OK, let's listen to the clipboard commands again. Remember, we have Paste, Cut, Copy, Format Painter. After we've looked at these a second time, I'm then going to move on to what are called the Font Toolbar commands. Listen carefully as each group of commands will be announced with a relevant shortcut. Cut button unavailable, cut the selection from the document and put it on the clipboard. Copy button unavailable, copy the selection and put it on the clipboard. Format painter button, copy formatting from one place and apply it to another. Office clipboard, button sub menu show the office clipboard task pane. Font toolbar, font. Combo box change the font face. Edit alt, H, F, F. Selected times new Roman. So now you can hear that we have moved on to the font clipboard group. And again, it has announced that the relevant font style that is currently being used for your document is Times New Roman. Listen carefully as I press my tab key to move along to investigate the font group. Font size. Combo box change the font. Pro font button increase the font size. Shrink font button decrease the font size. Clear formatting button clear all the formatting from the selection, leaving only the plain text. Bold button make the selected text bold. Italic button italicize the selected text. Underline grouping underline the selected text. Underline split button. Strike through button draw a line through the middle of the selected text. Subscript button create small letters below the text base line. Superscript button create small letters above the line of text. Change case drop down button sub menu change all the selected text to uppercase, lowercase, or other common capitalizations. Press F1 for more help. Oh. Text highlight color grouping highlight text as you read. Double click on the button to go into highlight mode. Make text look like it was marked with a highlighter pen. Font color grouping change the text color. Press F1 for more help. Font color split button RGB 255 0 0. Font, button sub menu show the font dialog box, Alt, H, F, N. When you hear that the font dialog box is another option, 
By producing the font dialog box, a further list of font options will become available to you that are not currently available or readily available on, through the ribbon as we are currently using it. So if you want to access further font options through the dialog box, then this is what you would have to select. Now because there are another, uh, there, the next group would be paragraphs then we have styles and then we have editing. I'm not going to go through them all because I would put you to sleep. So when you're investigating these yourself, remember that you simply press your tab key to move from command to command through each of the groups. And as you do this, listen carefully because what Microsoft have done now is they have taken relevant commands that people will use and put them into specific groups. Now I'm going to press my Alt key once more. This is to the left of my spacebar. Listen carefully as it will bring me back to my editing area. Document 1. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line. Page 1 blank. Page 1 blank. You now know you're ready to type because you're now on the editing area. So let's just quickly recap what we have done. We press the Alt key to select ribbon. Listen carefully. Ribbon toolbar, ribbon property page, ribbon tab, tab control, home tab selected, alt page. When the home tab was selected, we decided to have a look at what other tabs were available. Not commands now, only the tabs. So to do this, I pressed my right arrow key. Listen again as I hop through the different tabs on the ribbon. Insert tab selected, alt end. I'm going to press my right arrow key again, move to the page layout tab. Page layout tab page selected, layout alt, selected alt, alt, Now I'm going to move my right arrow again to go to the References tab. Listen for the shortcut command. References, References tab selected, tab alt, selected S. alt, S. Alt and S. Mailings tab Mailings selected, tab alt, selected M. alt, M. Mailings tab, alt and M. Review tab Review selected, tab alt, selected alt, R. Review tab, alt, or. View tab selected Alt W. The View tab Alt and W. I should point out that if we now stay on the View tab and again press the Tab key instead of the right arrow, it will bring us to the options on the View tab. Shall we take a look? Let's try. I'm going to press my Tab key this time. View property page, document view toolbar, print layout button, press view the document as it will appear on the printed page, alt, w, p. Listen, as I move through the document views group of commands by pressing my tab key. Listen carefully. Full screen reading button, view the document in full screen reading view in order to maximize the space available for reading or commenting on the document. Alt. Web layout button, view the document as it would look as a web page. Alt, W, L. Outline button, view the document as an outline and show the outline in tools. Alt, W, U. Draft button, view the document as a draft to quickly edit the text. Certain elements of the document, such as headers and footers, will not be visible in this view. Alt, W, E. Listen carefully as I continue to press my tab key to go to the show hide group. Show slash hide toolbar. Ruler checkbox checked new the rulers used to measure and line up objects in the document. Alt W R. Grid lines checkbox not checked. Turn on grid lines to which you can align objects in the document. Alt W G. Again, I'm not going to go through all the commands. There's too many. So now I'm going to press my Alt key once more. Document 1. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line. Page 1 blank. So now you heard that we're back on to the editing area of the page, which means that if you type now, you can have active text appear on your file. Let's press Alt key once more and listen carefully to see what happens. Ribbon toolbar, ribbon property page, ribbon tabs tab control, view tab selected alt W. Did you notice that it said the view tab is selected this time and not the home tab? Well that is because we were currently looking at the view tab before we pressed the alt key to hop back on to the editing area of your screen. So once you press the alt key again it reverts back to where you last left off. Now we would like to go to the very last tab so this time we're going to press right arrow to go to the developer tab. 
This brings up the developer ribbon. Ready? Right arrow. Developer tab selected. Alt L. Now we're going to go to the editing group and type some text. So we press our Alt key and we're brought back to the editing area. Document 1. Microsoft Word document edit multi line. Page 1 blank. E L O E E Space Space H H Space Space R R R R N V N A Caps Lock Caps Lock E Space E Space E T W T E You notice because I typed so quickly that N V D A had a little difficulty keeping up with me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask NVDA to read out everything that I have typed. So I first press Control and Home. This brings me to the top of the document. That means you hold down your Control key and you press the Home key on your keyboard. Next, find the Insert key on your keyboard and press Hello, the Down arrow key. You're enjoying this little 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 so what I did was I pressed Control and Home first. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. That brought me to the very first line. Next, I pressed Insert and Down Arrow. Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying this little overview of spelling error and VDA free screen reading software. Next, I would like to save my file. To save my file, I simply press Control and S. Save as dialog file name, file name, save as type, save as type, file name, combo box collapsed, edit all 10, selected below every one dot box, caps lock on, N, V, D, A, space, caps lock off, F, I, L, E. So I have decided to call it NVDA file, using my caps lock, as you heard, for the NVDA letters, and then a cap, an initial capital letter for the word file. Now I'm just going to press my enter key. NVDA file dot dot Microsoft, Microsoft Word. NVDA file dot dot Microsoft Word document Microsoft edit multi line. Page one. I hope you are enjoying this little overview of spelling error NVDA free screen reading software. So now you heard NVDA read out the file name NVDA file doc x Microsoft Word and also it read the text on screen. OK, let's finish up. I would now like to close my file, so I prim simply press Ctrl and W. Unknown. Unknown. Next, I would like to press Alt and F4 to close my program. Camtasia Studio Thank you for watching this little recording on NVDA Introduction to Microsoft Word. Record. Record. Recording.